What is up? It's a figure hunter, and today we're going to review the lift box. This is one of the, I guess, most favorable lift boxes, which is, includes a multiple of different things. If you are in the weightlifting type phase or the CrossFit or those types of workouts, it's sort of catered to that group of us that really like to see gains on a regular basis. So if you like this review, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing for more. If you're new to the channel, I test devices for the purpose of higher intensity interval training, as well as for recovery metrics and training load metrics. And all my reviews are no fluff because I have a limited amount of time. I've got to focus my time on content and not on fancy editing skills. So the lift box, it's $40 a month and it comes once a month, obviously uh, no rocket science there. So it's one of the most highly touted of those out there on the market. So I thought I would give it a try. And so what we're gonna do in this review is I'm gonna show you what comes in the box. I'm gonna give you my thoughts on like what rough value, like cost value, monetary value it has to me just straight out of the box. And then I'm gonna share my thoughts on after trying everything in the box, like eating everything, what I thought of each of the contents, and then I'm gonna share my final thoughts. So with that, let's dive in to this month's box of the lift box. All right, so let's see what's in this box basics. Um, just take all of the contents out and just sort of evaluate what we get. Looks like we got, ooh, that fell. Um, Plant-based, junk food, not much protein, fine, whatever. Ooh, a caffeinated energy bar, verb, oh, I like that. Hydration packet, sounds a little, feels a little crusty, but looks like we got a few different hydration packets. Great. Detox recovery blend. That's awesome. Uh, barbells. Bear Bells, soft protein bar. Ooh, a protein browning, 19 grams. Performance grade body wash, that's awesome. Totally random. And a super coffee, 10 grams of protein, which I totally appreciate. And then shirt. Does feel soft, it's good. Let's see what the look is so it just has a little barbell on the front that's great i like that it's clean clean and simple just barbell on the front and on the back earn your rest great overall i'll price everything out but shirt seems great i don't love the color uh that's pretty good do like that it includes that this is pretty interesting. I did not expect that because I just didn't have any expectations. I love that it has some hydration hy hydration packets. This thing, you know, it's got you know reasonable amount of fat in it and six grams of added sugar. Do not love that, even if it's delicious. And so zero grams of added sugar and sixteen grams of protein. So that's legit. That's a good snack. 190 calories. I, I'm up for that. So overall, not bad. All right. So if I was going to assign arbitrary prices or what value these things have to me, like, so what value did I get out of the box? Um, the shirt, I would say 20 bucks, you know, obviously it's probably worth maybe 25 or something like that. Um, I don't particularly love the color, but I would say 20 for that. The body wash, that's actually kind of legit. I like that. That's maybe $8 of value, maybe six. I mean, depending on how fantastic. The super coffee, this is a good, you know, it's only got 80 calories. It's got 10 grams of protein. This is actually it's got caffeine in it, so it's going to make a difference. I will use that. That's $3. We'll say three bucks. This caramel choco, it feels like it's got a like a chocolate shell, which actually is really pretty awesome. And it's 190 calories. It doesn't have a bunch of added sugars and it's got 16 grams of protein. This is gonna be something I like keep in the car to save me. So I'd give that a, I don't know, like a two to $3 value. Um, even though I know bars can cost this verb. It, it seems like good, it's an energy bar, but it seems like a good idea, but it's 110 calories and it's got a bunch of added sugars. So it's not worth a whole lot to me, maybe a dollar. You know, I probably would just going to force that down because I have it. The hydrates, 
Hydrates have added sugar too, which I just don't love personally. If you want a hydration, I think just don't put sugar in there. Um, so these may be 50 cents each because that's that's what value would have to me. I'm just going to force these down, not because I really am like looking for it. Although it does have, you know, vi electrolyte immune boost. It's got vitamin C, D, B complex. So it's got some extra stuff that maybe a regular hydration wouldn't have. So $1.50 for all three 50 cents each. The chips, the chips are okay. You know, chips are at least 70 calories. That's great. And then two grams of protein, two grams of dietary fiber. So that'll help me to pinch. This is just a good snack just to have on hand if you get desperate. And maybe they taste fantastic. So I'm going to give that a dollar, uh, you know, maybe $2 at the most, $2 of value to me. These little guys, this detox is a cool idea, really cool idea, but you know, I'm not going to booze it up too hard anytime soon. So to me, this only has, you know, maybe 50 cents each, maybe a dollar total. I don't know when I'd even use it. That's the problem is it might have no actual value to me. Like the verb probably has no value. And then the brownie has no value. Um, it's got five grams of collagen, 19 grams of protein, but it's just fatty. <laughs> I mean, it's 250 calories for this little bar. I'm not going to waste my food on that. Uh, 19 grams of protein is okay, but it's just got added sugars and it's got high saturated fat. So that's got no value. So when I add up everything to what value it actually has in my life, to me, you know, personally, I would say it's got about 38 bucks of value. So $50 for $38 of value to me, I would really say it really has like 32 to $33 of value. If I take shave off the extra stuff that I'm sort of just saying, okay, I'll, I'll force myself to eat it. But, um, 32, $33, not, not enough for me to get a benefit from the lift. All right. So you could see that, you know, I was sort of like, uh, a little bit uncertain of what value I would get out of the box, like monetary. If it's $40 a month, you can get a discount initially to get it somewhere lower than that. But I'm going to share what I thought of each of the contents. Now, the shirt actually is a high quality shirt. I've worn it a couple of times. It's actually, you know, it, it, it's a great shirt. I like that it has content on the back and just a little thing on the front, but it's not the color that I would necessarily prefer for myself. And I do have a lot of shirts. So if you are somebody that is looking to build a collection of shirts, this has more value for, for you probably because it is a higher quality for me. It's, it, you know, because it's not exactly the color, I, it doesn't have a whole lot of value to me. The next thing is the performance grade body wash. This is totally awesome in some ways. I, I'm not used to body wash. I just use like straight up Dove soap because I like the way it smells, just like plain soap. But this one smells like eucalyptus. It smells like Hall's mental rub, but it, it, in a good way, it's got caffeine in the body wash and it goes a long way it's like i don't know you know the problem with body wash you put some on your hands you like do the upper body and then you go to pick it back up and it's like slippery because you have body wash all over your hands but it, it spreads pretty far all around again you know it's it's kind of a cool scent to me i don't know how clean it's getting but it, in fact it has caffeine just feels cool the fact that it has eucalyptus sort of feels like it's got some sort of like effect to it i would say that's got a medium you know it's just interesting same thing with a lot of these snacks. Like these are incredibly good. They were really surprising. Two grams of protein, two grams of fiber, and like 70 calories for what felt like an onion ring snack. That was legit. This actually is a surprisingly good snack. These pitos made from some, you know, crazy thing. The uh, protein brownie from Prime Bites. Prime Bites protein value. It felt not worth the calorie content and the fat content. So it did have higher calories, 250 calories and higher fat content. It was sort of like a brownie, but it tasted like a fake brownie. Uh, you know, it, it was, it was just okay. I would say like on a scale of one to 10, this was like a three of a quality snack. Same thing with the verb caffeinated energy bar. This again was okay. I think the calorie count on it was like 90. For this little bar full of, you know, it's not like a shot of caffeine. It was okay. You know, again, I sort of like, I, I, I tend to focus my calories on protein and this just didn't cut it for me. This was like on a scale of one to 10, this was like a three. The hydrate, I would say is like a one out of one to 10. I don't know. I mean, it was high, it, you know, it's, it's, it's got sugar in it. I didn't really love that. 
I had one of the packets, one of the packets came dried up, so it wasn't really functionally useful. Then it had, you had the recovery pills, which, you know, I had some wine at Thanksgiving and I had this, it didn't really mess really make me feel like I had like a spring in my step the next morning. So I don't know those, this was like a one out of 10. And then you had the caramel Choco soft protein bar. This was awesome. It was like caramel dripping. Awesome for 190 calories and it had 16 grams of protein in this delicious dessert bar. This was like 10 out of 10. So if you go back through it, the shirt to me was three out of 10. The, you know, the caffeine bar was like maybe one out of 10, maybe three out of 10. The brownie, maybe two out of 10 now that I look back on it. The pitos, that was actually like 10 out of 10 snack. The, you know, body wash, maybe six out of 10. So what do I think of this in summary? In summary, I think it is a really fun way to try different snacks. I'm going to say like, you're going to like 60%, 40%. You're not going to like, it's not going to fit your cup of tea. And so it's sort of like that 40% is a waste. The 60% has value and might be something you purchase again for the box itself. If you're looking at the value of the box for $40, I think you actually get $40 out of it. Like, I don't think you're getting like an astronomical because it's like hit or miss whether you're going to like these snacks. It's just more, so I think you'll get 40 bucks roughly out, especially if you like shirts or need a new collection or want to build up your collection of shirts and like random things. But that's the trick is that some of the randomness is going to not hit for you. Some of the randomness will be awesome and maybe turn you on to new things you might love and try and purchase again and again and again. Like if I, you know, I'm, I might not purchase these caramel tacos cause I'm just sort of lazy, but I would go buy those. I'd buy the pitos if it wasn't that expensive. So for 40 bucks, I think you do get 40, 40 economic dollars back in your pocket or back towards you, but it's more the enhanced value of getting to try different things. You wouldn't take the time to go research on your own. So with that, I would give the lift box a thumbs up, maybe a little bit of a thumb sideway, sideways, because to me, I wouldn't, I wouldn't keep the subscription because I've got to get more than enough. I need like $60 of value to feel like I'm getting a good deal. And I have plenty of shirts. So that, that's where I'm at. But if they had just a snack pack, I would pay 20 bucks or 15 bucks for this, just the snack pack, non-shirt included. And maybe they do. I haven't even checked the website to see what other options are. Because I like trying different things, but it's only worth 10 or $15 to me to try a sample of snacks on a regular basis. So with that, that's the review for the lift box at the Fit Gear Hunter. Thanks so much for watching.